do another uh, video today. Um, I'm not quite done with the book, but I'm I'm nearly done. Uh, it's the uh, book The Princess Bride by William Goldman of the BBC. Um, I'm I'm gonna keep this fairly short. Um, the uh, Look, the book and the movie seem to be pretty, uh, they seem, they seem to, um, keep a lot of this stuff from the book and the movie. Um, there are certain things that, uh, they have left out. It's not very much. Um, if, if you don't know, it's basically about this, uh, farmer's daughter that, uh, falls in love with a farm boy named Wesley. The uh, farmer's daughter's name is Buttercup. Odd name, but hey, I'm not the writer. Um, yeah, they they uh, fall in love with each other. He goes off to uh, I think London to um, uh, earn enough money to sail to America, and then. Uh, uh, build a home for him that he would spend for, and well, on his way to America, he pirates a cat, um, and she supposedly dies, and well, this causes her to be very heartbroken, and she swears to never lo love again. Um, <clears throat> well, a little while later, uh, she ends up, um, uh, well, the first chapter is, uh, basically, like, about her story, uh, her falling with Wesley, and then the next chapter is something much shorter, and it's about this, uh, prince, and his name is, uh, Humperdinck, another odd name, I know, um, and he's basically this really chubby guy, um, lo really loves the prince, obsessed with it, and has this, um, zoo, I can't remember what he's called it. Um, and it's like a five-layered zoo. And it's all of it's, uh, uh, arranged to, uh, where, uh, each thing in each level is so somewhat more dangerous than this and the next. And the fifth level is, like, the most dangerous. So it's the one that he would say is his, uh, equal, or closest to his equal. And it's completely empty. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it's basically that, and, uh, it goes on to, uh, well, his father's very sick, and he's about to die, and, of course, he hasn't married yet, and he needs an heir, and he ends up, um, getting this princess from, uh, Gilder, because the, the two countries it's mainly involving is this one called Gilder, and another one called Florin. And most of it takes place in Florence, but there's there's just a little bit of it that takes place in uh, Gilder. And uh, <clears throat> well, they get this princess, and, they, and the the writer thinks that's hilarious. It, it sounds like he's um, commentary commentating on some of the book. And there's this one part here where he's ta talking about it, talking about the 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 way the author. Uh, describes some of the stuff, and he talks about, uh, he goes on for, like, several pages on, you know, what the queen, the queen takes when she's going over there, um, <clears throat> and then this is, like, only, like, half a page when she actually goes over there. She gets there, and it goes on for, like, 12 pages of how much the princess takes, and another half a page to actually get back, and then some unpacking, and it's ba basically described, he basically just, like, summarizes it. And, <laughs> it's it's rather interesting, and then he well, <clears throat> basically, it's, but you know, make a so long story short, it basically is about these two uh, lovers. I think my video feed just died. Lovely. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's basically these two lovers that basically have to overcome odds, and um. They go through all all kinds of odd circumstances 
The one thing I found really funny in this book when I came across it was this one particular chapter, chapter four, and here, see, it's chapter four, the preparations, I don't know if you can see it, anyway, that's the title, that's the title page, or the cha chapter, that, I swear, is the entire chapter right there, if you don't believe me, next page and chapter five <laughs> there's your proof it shortest chapter the whole book I swear but um, basically the only difference is from the book and the movie the movie is the same title um, William Goldman who wrote the book also did the screenplay the movie came out roughly about 1987 89 Somewhere in between there, the book came out about 1970-something, late 70s. Um, it's a good book so far. I've liked it. Uh, <clears throat> so far, really the only thing they've left out is uh, the background on Inigo, who is the uh, Spanish swordsman. And the other one is the background on, if I can remember his name... Uh, I can't think of his name. I have to look now. can't seem to find him, so I'm sorry. Um, I know the guy's name, I just can't think of it. I swear it's in here, and I can't think of what this guy's name is. In the movie, he's played by, um, oh, it's Fezzik. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Uh, in the movie, he's played by this, um, old, uh, WWE wrestler called Andre the Giant. Uh, some of you may have heard him, some of you may not. He's basically a, uh, this um, old, older wrestler, uh, he's not around anymore, but died several years ago. A couple of decades, I guess. But um, he was basically an old wrestler that was in the WWE around the 60s to the 80s, I guess. He may have been a little newer. Um, but yeah, he played Fezzik in the movie. Um, I couldn't tell you who played uh, Inigo. But yeah, th those two characters, they pretty much left out the, uh, their, uh, history in the movie, which I thought was kind of sad, because I found both of their, uh, histories quite fascinating, uh, especially Inigo's. Um, I'm not going to go into too much into detail about this movie, except for saying that basi basically the movie matches up pretty good to the movie, except for, you know, a few minor details here and there. Um, I suggest you you read the book and watch the movie if you haven't yet. They're both very good movies. I grew up watching this movie. It wasn't until just you know a few years ago that I figured out there was a book. My mom got the DVD and the book for me for my birthday one year. So I suggest you all go out and get the movie. Thank you for watching. <laughs>